When Narcissists Collide Mariah Carey against James Corden Asshole Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor Narcissists invariably brush up against one another and can certainly clash with severe consequences. The nature of the involvement will depend upon the subschool of narcissists and also the circumstances. Is the interaction behind closed doors? Are other people watching? Would a facade need to be maintained? And therefore there are differing outcomes that can occur. I've explained in When Narcissists Collide Parts 1 and 2 some of the outcomes, both in familial, romantic and social settings involving a collision of narcissists. I've also made mention of the process of narcissistic cementation, something I will be expanding on in due course, where two narcissists come together and appear to cooperate. Here, we have an excellent opportunity to scrutinise a little bit of footage which shows an interaction that takes place between James Corden, arsehole on his chat show, and, of course, the diva herself, Mariah Carey. This is a situation of two narcissists colliding. You may recall that, in parts passing when I analysed the Arsy Wipes series, Mariah Carey gave Harry's wife short shrift which caused Harry's wife to have to almost creep back into the studio afterwards to whine about the fact that she'd been called a diva by Mariah Carey and that actually when diva was used with regard to her, it was meant in a complimentary way, whereas we all know that actually it isn't. But that was Harry's wife's way of dealing with that particular label. Here, Mariah Carey is on the chat show and I'm going to play you the footage now have a watch of it, and then I'll analyse what's going on for you. Well, let's freaking go! We get through the thing, no, but we're like this. Yeah. You're a jackass. No. You wear it's this dress. You wear... Wait, wait, wait. James. James. You're going to make me do it. Don't make me do it. I can't even reach it. <laughs> you wear this. <laughs> you wear that. And you see how easy it is to walk in this dress. <laughs> Well, let's freaking we go. Thing, no, but we're like this. Yeah. You're a jackass. No. You wear this dress. You wear. Wait, wait, wait. James. James. You're gonna make me do it. Don't make me do it. I can't even reach it. You wear the. <laughs> you wear that. And you see how easy it is to walk in this dress. Mariah Carey has a tight dress and is wearing heels. And Corden, arsehole, not demonstrating any manners or consideration for her, which is, of course, demonstrative of the absence of emotional empathy that he has and the fact that he revels in taking the piss out of people, starts to mock the way that she walked on. Now, of course, we recognise that it's a chat show and we also recognise that he's there to purportedly be humorous and entertaining. But the type of narcissist that he is, he does so at the expense of his guests. More capable and seasoned interviewers and presenters allow their guests to shine. They allow them to be the star of the show. They certainly don't ridicule or put them down. However, with James Corden, arsehole, it's very much part of his modus operandi, driven by his narcissism, that he has to ensure that he looks good, and that means taking the piss out of other people. Accordingly, what he starts to do, as you've seen, is he starts to shuffle around on the set, mocking Mariah Carey in terms of the way that she was moving. Belittlement. She, of course, protests, because his action, whilst providing her with fuel, it's directed towards her, is a threat, and her narcissism perceives that as such. Accordingly, in order to nullify the threat, she tries to stop him doing what he's doing by telling him to wait and saying his name. Corden, arsehole, of course, regards that subconsciously as a threat to his own control, and therefore he stays in a position of ignoring her. He doesn't respond or stop. He carries on mocking her. Once again, he's providing her with fuel, but it's challenge fuel. And thus, similarly challenged, she then shifts tack in terms of trying to get him to listen to her and understand the explanation, exhibiting a benign manipulation over him, she shifts tack by reaching to remove the shoe and is trying to get him to understand that it's very difficult wearing the dress and the shoes to walk in any other way than the way that he's portraying. 
He continues to mock her, once again paying no attention to her, nullifying the threat to control that's posed by her protestations by ignoring her, which results in her then removing the shoe. She also calls him a jackass, use of insult to provoke him and nullify his threat to control, and she then throws her shoe at him, telling him, this is the reason why I couldn't walk in a different way. You try walking in this manner. So we have a very short interaction between the two of them, but it is a very good example of the way that Corden, asshole, behaves. He shows no emotional empathy for his guest, deems that it's appropriate to mock her, and when she clearly doesn't accept that, his narcissism doesn't allow him to go, oh, hang on a minute, I've gone a bit too far here, or I'll let her speak, she's trying to explain something. Oh, no, it has to be the James Corden asshole show. Look at me, look at me as I take the piss out of you. Aren't I funny? I'm belittling you. I'm invalidating you. Although, of course, he doesn't think in such terms. He just thinks, I am so funny. This is hilarious. I'm taking the mick out of the way that Mariah Carey came on, and I'm not going to listen to her because I'm brilliant. I'm really funny. I'm worth paying lots of money. Look at me, everybody. Ha, 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 ha. Of course, all of that is a repeated threat to control to Mariah Carey, resulting in her response, causing her to try and get his attention. She fails. To try and get his attention with a provocation by calling him a jackass. She fails. So in the end, she hurls a shoe at him, which prompts a response from the audience and eventually causes him to turn around and pick it up, thus causing her to nullify the threat to control that he is posing. An interesting incidence of two narcissists colliding in the public view. Neither of them are going to start brawling with one another, but if he had not stopped, it's likely, for instance, that Mariah Carey might have increased the insults towards him. Notice how she was quite clear in telling him that he was a jackass, that she didn't mince her words, and it could quite possibly have been the case that she would have exited from the set as a part of withdrawing in order to assert control. Although, of course, she would have moved rather slowly, given the fact that she's wearing a tight dress and those high heels. A useful opportunity to see two famous narcissists, how they collide, and how in that instance they're both fighting to get control over the other. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.